Have you just emptied your trash on your Mac and just realized that you may have deleted something important? Well, don't worry. In today's video, I'm going to show you some awesome tips on how you can recover those files. We will use recovery methods that include using Time Machine Backup, Terminal Commands, iCloud Recovery, and of course, EZUS Recovery Software. Before we begin, it's very important that you stop using the drive on your Mac. Otherwise, every second you wait, you risk data being overwritten. Now ask yourself, what kind of drive does your Mac use? If it's an SSD, you can enable trim. Trim is a command that tells an SSD which data blocks are no longer in use so it can erase them in advance. Default Mac SSDs already have this enabled, but with Windows, you may have to enable it yourself. Don't worry, there's plenty of tutorials online on how to do that. With that question answered, now ask yourself, was Time Machine turned on? Now, if Time Machine backup was enabled, Accessing it is very simple. To access Time Machine, all you have to do is go to the upper right hand corner of your Mac, go to the search bar and type in Time Machine. If your Time Machine backup was enabled, you should be able to cycle through specific dates, months, years, and times specifically in order to restore your backup. But if you're like me and you forgot to turn on Time Machine backup, I'm going to show you another method. Let's go over to iCloud Drive. Simply open up your browser, such as Google Chrome, Go to iCloud.com, log in, and you'll be able to access all of your files backed up onto iCloud. You can even go to your recently deleted folders. If that didn't work, you can use Terminal on Mac, which will launch this command prompt. We can put in a certain code, which you will see on screen, and if successful, it will help you recover files. When you empty or delete a file off of an SSD and put it into your recycle bin on your Mac, it temporarily remains on your SSD. However, if you've emptied your recycle bin, that file cannot be restored using this method, which is why there is not much of a high success rate when using Terminal. Now let's say that didn't even work. There's one last solution, and it's called EZUS Data Recovery Wizard. Head over to EZUS.com and select your operating system, whether it be Mac or Windows, and then download it to your computer. Open the app and select your drive, whether it be internal or external. As soon as you click on Search Lost Data, files will begin to populate almost immediately. And don't forget, you can always filter by file types, such as photos, documents, etc. You can always preview the files before restoring it as well. Now here's another great tip. When you find the file that you want to restore or recover, make sure you recover it on an external drive. Your current drive that you're working on may be compromised and remember, data is constantly being overwritten. Now what's great about EZUS Data Recovery Wizard is that not only can it restore deleted files, but it can also help you repair corrupted files, such as video and photos. So if you'd like, you can actually access the video and photo repair on the left sidebar. There are three great benefits to EZUS. One, there is no backup required when restoring these files. Two, it has an extremely easy user interface, so you don't have to be an expert to use the software. And three, it supports all Mac file type systems, such as APFS, HFS+, and even more. Here's a bonus tip that will help you out in the future. It's called the 321 rule. Make three copies or backups of any file that's important. Use two different storage types, such as the one that's built in onto your PC or Mac, and an external drive. And one, have a backup drive off-site that you don't regularly use with your computer. And next, turn on backups such as Time Machine for your Mac. It backs up regularly, even daily, and this will help you save yourself some time and headache in the future. So if you're still panicking about recovering your files, don't worry, EZUS has your back. Make sure you check out the link down below and see if the software will work for you.